Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I want to appreciate everyone for coming into this broadcast today. And your life will not remain the same for listening and for being part of this broadcast. And today will be, today is day 57 of 90 days of glory. We have been teaching God's word and today is day 57. One of the greatest things, one of the greatest things we could have I don't, I don't want, look, let me know is the word things. One of the greatest treasure we could receive is the word of God. And God's word has the answer to every question. It doesn't matter the question that is in your heart about life, about purpose about destiny, God's word has answer. God's word has answer to your emotional situation. You see, when you focus on God's word, it is a key to fulfilling your destiny. None of us could truly live an effective life if we don't make God's word a priority. Jesus said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things will be added to you. He said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all these things will be added to you if you want multiplication, increase. You have to make the kingdom the priority. Now, today we'll be sharing on walk with God. In every generation, God looks for people that have a genuine heart towards Him. God looks for people who are willing to build intimacy with Him in every generation. He looks for people who willing to be committed to his word than their needs. God has called us to be kingdom minded not need minded. God has called us to be kingdom minded and not need minded. If someone is need minded they can fulfill their destiny. If someone is need-minded, they can fulfill their destiny. Your need shouldn't be the priority. Your work with God should be the priority. Your need shouldn't be the priority. If if you do it the way Jesus said it, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Once the kingdom becomes your priority, every other thing will fall in place. Once the kingdom becomes your priority, every other thing will fall in place. Every other thing, you, you get other things right. When the kingdom is your priority, every other thing will fall in place. Those who walk with God exalt God's word above their personal agenda, issue, or situation. Those 
those who walk with God. They are able to receive wisdom, insight from the Spirit of God. Now, there are in Amos 3, verse 3, he said, Can two walk together? I said, They be agree. Can two walk together? That simply means two can walk together. I said, There is an agreement. Can two walk together? You know, your call to the ministry or to business or to any aspect of life will be successful when you cultivate a right relationship with God. Your relationship with God becomes the platform in which you think, see, believe, and receive. Your relationship with God is so important that you you have a relationship with His Word. Can two walk together? As if they be agree. You see, you, you have to evaluate where you are with God in your walk with God. You have to check out your relationship with God. What is really going on right now? Are you growing? Or you're not making progress spiritually? Walk with God is the key to securing the future. If you want to secure your future, you must walk with God. Don't go ahead of God. Go with God. Don't try to say, I don't need God. You will always need Him for direction, for instruction, for correction, and for protection, including provision. Direction, correction, protection, provision. You will always need him. Walk with God and in not walk with God. He lived a life that glorified God. He lived a life where he magnified God above his wants, above his need, above his pain. He was putting God in the front. He knew the importance of being committed to the principles of the kingdom. The scripture said, What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? What's it going to profit a man? To gain the whole world and lose his soul. Your soul is so important to God. Your soul is so vital to God. And God loves you. So he wants to walk with you. When God walks with you, you become a wonder to man. You'll be wondering how do you receive from God? How do you flow with the things of the Spirit? Because you're walking with God. That should be the focus. That should be the priority to walk with God. Now, let me give us keys to walking with God. Number one, recognize his fatherhood. Recognize that God is a father. And a father always likes to talk with his children, likes to relate with his children, likes to bring direction, correction, instruction, and provide security. 
So you have to recognize him as a father. So understanding the fatherhood of God changes everything. Understanding the fatherhood of God changes everything. If you really want to see a change, you need to understand the fatherhood of God. Because you can't walk with someone you don't trust. You have to trust God to walk with God. If you don't trust God, you can't step out to believe God. You have to trust God to walk with God. You have to trust God to walk with God. You have to trust God to walk with God. So you, you can't truly walk with God except you trust Him. Number two, if you want to walk with God, you must be willing to do things according to His Word. If you want to walk with God, you must be willing to do things according to His Word. You must be willing to do things according to His Word. He is not expecting you to do things based on how you feel. He's expecting you to do things based on what He has instructed you to do. And instruction is vital when it comes to working with God. So you must be willing to do things according to how He instructed you. Number three, you have to cultivate a good listening attitude. If you're going to work with God, you have to cultivate a good listening attitude. Learning to listen to Him. He has a word. He has an instruction. He has a revelation for you. He has something He wants to show you. He has an insight for you. So you have to listen to God. Listening is very strategic to faith operations. Listening, you, you, you make progress in your work with God when you listen to God. You make progress in your faith work when you listen. And we can only listen when we know that God speaks. That's one of the ways we could listen when we know that God speaks. God have a word for you. When we know that God speaks, we can truly listen. When we know that God speaks, we can listen. So, but when an individual doesn't know that God speaks, they can't listen. So, if you're going to work with God, principle number four is submission. God, one thing that gets God's attention is called humility. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are welcome to 90 Days of Glory. This is day 57. And we are teaching on walk with God. And we have shared on the principle of submission, how important it is to, to submit to God if you truly want to see greater things of the Spirit. Now, the next thing we need to look at if you want to work with God is faithfulness. If you want to work with God, you have to stay faithful to His instructions. You know, faithfulness is not a gift. It's something you can cultivate or develop. Being faithful. Being faithful 
to what God told you, being faithful to what He revealed to you, being faithful. You can't truly walk with God except you develop faithfulness. God likes and trusting things into the hands of faithful people. You know why? It takes faithfulness to unlock greatness. There can be greatness within you, but if you're not faithful, you won't be able to get to your destination. So God demands faithfulness. If your work with God is going to produce great results, you have to be faithful even when you're not seeing results to show that you're laboring. Faithfulness is strategic when it comes to fulfilling destiny in the kingdom. Joseph succeeded because he stayed faithful even when they betrayed him, they lied against him, they rejected him. And this guy was faithful. He refused the situation to define his destiny. He was more focusing on his destiny than to focus on his situation. Did you know that God has called you into a great life. So faithfulness is required if you want to work with God. God doesn't like keeping company with unfaithful people. When people are unfaithful, they can be trusted with greater commitments. When people are unfaithful, don't be unfaithful to the call of God in your life. Stay faithful. You know, whether it's your relationship, whatever area, stay, staying faithful is the key to spiritual longevity. We can't truly last spiritually until we choose the part of faithfulness. So those who work with God must choose the part of faithfulness. Now, the next thing if you're going to work with God is call diligence. Being diligent. It is required that you have to be diligent. So it's yet a man diligent in his business. He will stand before kings and not men. And being diligent in following everything he's telling you to do. Your diligence in following it. The next key, if you're going to walk with God, is faith. You walk with God by faith. You step out to trust Him by faith. And you believe that His word will come to pass. So those who walk with God focus on their faith work. Knowing that faith in God can change your situation. Can I say this to you? You are called to walk by faith. Don't focus on how you feel. If you focus on how you feel, you will lose out on your purpose. We are called to walk by faith. So those who walk with God must walk by faith. The next is called obedience. Obedience is a very strategic foundation we have to lay in our faith work. Being obedient. Be willing to obey God. Be willing to follow His word. Be willing to follow His counsel. That is how you're going to prosper. That is how you're going to succeed. Obedience. Abraham heard the voice of God. He followed. Isaac heard the voice of God. He followed. Genesis 26. There was a famine in the land. And the word of the Lord came to Isaac. In this land I will bless you. When you're in the place of obedience, you enjoy divine instructions. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you for this broadcast and I pray for everyone who is willing that your blessing rest upon them. Thank you, Father. Amen. This is the much you can take for today and we we'll encourage you to be back tomorrow.
Please be life changing. We love you. Please enjoy your evening.